is good everybody welcome to an epic mod and toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have a brand new wwe elite 2 pack review on the brand new wwe elite wrestlemania 2 mr t and rowdy roddy piper elite set that i'm actually quite in uh, enthralled with i'm actually really excited for this set if you guys watch my top 10 figure reveals that we got from ringside best i think this came in at number 10 or number 9 i can't remember if it was 10 or 9 but i knew it was in my top 10 so i was super excited for it one thing being is that we got these boxing gloves that i'm excited to find out about how they're going to look on other figures because I think they're interchangeable because we get interchangeable hands right here. I think you can pop those in to any figure. And now that I'm looking, oh, never mind. Okay. It looked like I thought I only had one Mr. T hand, but the other hand is hid behind the True Effects logo. Did you want to piss me off today, Brad? Anyways, guys, let's dive in here. I really like the packaging. It's got like a vintage look going on. It's like this black wash and these red stripes. It's got yellow lettering, but like over the black pieces, it has like this chipping white effect, like it's old, which is pretty cool. Not calling all my viewers old that watch this live or has an attachment to this event, but you're older than me, I guess. Spinning it to the right, you got an image of Mr. T. You got the Elite logo down here. On the back, we get some bio read. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it. You can pause it now, I guess. You get pretty cool images of both men here. You get some info there. You got their names at the top. WrestleMania 2 logo right there. A little red striping right there. Kind of looks bare bones down here. Need to fix that. They could have done like an image of the match in black and white or something. I don't know. Got an image of Roddy there. Same exact image right there as you guys can see on the back and the side and that's pretty much our packaging for this elite two pack now what we're gonna do is crack these hoes out of the packaging so uh, let's go ahead and do so so here's the WrestleMania 2 Mr. T and Roddy Piper out of their packaging, and I'm actually pretty shocked by some of the things that we got going on right here, guys, and I cannot wait to get into it with you. This is a Elite 2 pack, guys, so we're not going to go, you know, one after the other. Usually when we have two and one, we typically do all of the accessories that the pack comes with together, and then we cover one of the figures, then the other figure, look at the comparisons, and do on the, uh, the stuff. So uh, we're going to do the same thing here, guys. I'm going to line up all of their accessories, showcase those, and ch check those out, and then we will dive into the figures themselves. So with that being said, guys, let's dive into the WrestleMania 2 Rowdy Roddy Piper and Mr. T accessories. So diving into the accessories of this pack, guys, starting out first, we do have all of their interchangeable hands. Now, both guys come with a set of interchangeable hands for their boxing gloves. So they do come with boxing gloves, and these are actually super nice. I want to get a nice zoom-in shot of these. I only, they obviously both come with gloves, but I only have the Mr. T gloves right here. They're both quite the same, though. They both have a nice sculpt to them. They look like old-school boxing gloves. Uh, compared to the images I saw, they look pretty accurate, I think. I think the wristbands of the boxing gloves actually had, like, more white on them but it's not that big of a deal. I don't think you got these little nice strings on the inside sculpted. These are sculpted really nicely. You guys can see all the wrinkles and stuff. I like the red color on them. I like the black going on there. And they look really, really nice. I like them a lot. They also have the wristbands, you guys know, like we see with AJ Styles, Rey Mysterio, guys like that. You guys can see the laces stitched right there. And you could probably put this on another figure if you wanted to, but you have the black and white stripes with the red. And then you have, uh, of course, you, you slide these on the arm and then you plug in the boxing gloves like so. So if we had Mr. T's arm right here, you would slide this on and then you would of course just plug in the boxing glove like so and it would go on like that and it looks really really good I mean maybe they could be a size uh, maybe a little bit bigger if anything but I don't think it's a big deal I still think it looks good so you of course have your boxing gloves we are going to put these on separate figures as well later on in the video so stay tuned for that because I want to see what these look like on different figures but for Mr. T you do get interchangeable mic holding hands we saw these with his SDCC exclusive Mr. T figure that we got so there is those you also have mic holding hands that come with Roddy Piper so each guy can have the boxing gloves off if you want to do some shots of that maybe pre-fight or you want to do like a, putting their gloves on with their robes and stuff like that but there is all of their interchangeable hands accessories and both guys come with their entrance robes now these are super nice and they are very nice high quality cloth on the back of Mr. T's it says Mr. T in yellow it is a bright red it's got the black belt going around let's go ahead and put this on the figure so we can look what it looks like if you guys want to put these robes on I highly suggest popping the hands off because it makes the robes go on much much easier so there is the robe on Mr. T. I'm, I'm saying though, like I feel like, is my right sleeve longer? Maybe not. It just, I kind of feel like this thing's kind of baggy. I feel like it probably shouldn't be this baggy. Not the biggest deal, but it kind of looks like it is pretty baggy. Let's stand him straight up and uh, drape his arms. Maybe if his hands were in there, it wouldn't be as baggy, but there's the hood up on the figure, and you guys, of course, can tie around the belt in the front if you guys want to, but I really like the colors that is going on with this. I like the red. The saturated red looks really good on the Mr. T figure. I like the bright gold letters that we got going on on the back, so that's pretty cool right there. 
there. And then of course our second one is the Rowdy Piper one, which is definitely my favorite. I love this checkerboard pattern or this flannel pattern. Very, very nice. It matches his trunks as well. It's got the white and black hot rod logo on the back. Very high quality, dude. This thing is super sick. And you might could even do a shot of a guy in a robe. Or it looks like the sleeve's actually going pretty easy with the gloves attached, so maybe you don't have to take the gloves off. So when the figure has the gloves on, it definitely makes the uh, entrance robe look a lot better, but his has Velcro on the front, so it's not the exact same as Mr. T's. It doesn't have any ties on the back, or you know, you don't have to put the belt across there, so it does have Velcro on the front, but it fits the figure nicely. I like the Hot Rod one better, just because I like the color and the Hot Rod logo on the back, but it seems that both hoods and everything fit the figures nice. I like it a lot, but it is really cool to get these nice cloth robes with this two-pack and we got a lot of new sculpts and stuff going on with these so with that being said guys let's go ahead and dive into the figures themselves i guess we'll start off with mr t and then we'll get into roddy piper and then we'll take a look at some other things so getting into mr t guys looking at the head sculpt this is the same exact head sculpt that we got on his sdcc exclusive figure and i'm still tripping that we still have a mr t man this makes my third mr t in my collection not counting the, the sdccs that i kept mock but i'm loving this mr t man i'm all for the mr t figures again i'm a big mr t fan i enjoy his work i think he's hilarious and this head sculpt is no different. I really like the head sculpt. I like the torso we got going on. Same torso we got on his SDCC figure. Same arms and shoulders as well. The only thing is on the torso, they did paint the bottom of it black because you guys know that he did. Actually, you guys can see it right here. You guys can see the little waist wrap that's going on underneath. I actually think that may be like a crotch guard or something that boxers wear. I could be wrong about that. But going down into the shorts mold, this is a new shorts mold. I don't think we've ever seen this before. It's got the, the Epic Moments 3-pack Milko Mania Kurt Angle crotch is what it's looking like. And it does have like a nice black color at the top just like his trunks had and then it does have red trunks and they do have the old WWF logo on there but it is the WWE logo because of copyright. This guy is on ball joints both of which both men are on ball joints. It looks pretty good. You got the back pocket. You got the nice slit in the shorts. These look really good dude. I'm really impressed with this. You also have the back pocket sculpted in there and it's kind of weird that they just cut that out but it's there. It's not just sculpted on. It's just cut out of the plastic. You guys already saw what the boxing gloves look like on the arms. I think it looks really good dude. Like oh my god. I, I just love the aesthetic of the figure. Going down, I did get a little bit of paint chip right here on the knees. You guys will see that the skin tone did not completely cover the red right there, which is unfortunate, but I actually think that Citadel makes a color in this skin tone that's a perfect match to this color. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. You will also notice that these guys are pinless. These guys have point, pinless joints, which is unfortunate, and you guys will remember, if you guys watch my other reviews, this knee damage thing is such a thing. If they do pinless joints on any figure, there's gonna be knee damage. You guys can see there, there's like some like cuts in the plastic of the knees, and that happens every time we get pinless joints, so I guess that's a thing. Another thing I'm also noticing about pinless joints is that they make the knees, especially the upper knee joint, really, really stiff, and I'll I'll talk about that in a second. I may have already broke these free. I don't know, but we'll see about that. I'll show you guys that in the articulation standpoint. Down below on the calves, you do have these nice socks. You got the red sock, and then you have the striped sock. I think these look great. I really hate that they made these pinless, because I can't switch them out. I'm sure you could make some really cool like, some really cool customs and unique designs for some guys, especially like creator wrestlers, if you guys were into that or wanted to do something like that. But unfortunately, the only way to do that would be popping the legs off or doing a torso swap or something, but you cannot switch out the lat. You can't switch out the calves or anything. He does have these nice short white boots that look good. And I'm happy they went with these short boots instead of like the Kurt Angle shoes. Even though the Kurt Angle shoes are probably more accurate to boxing shoes and stuff, um, these are not going to have loose ankles or anything. So that's really nice to see. But the Mr. T figure is freaking fantastic. I am really enjoying what I'm seeing out of this figure. And I think you guys will also enjoy it. But before we move on to the next segment, guys, we do have to cover our other figure, which is going to be the Rowdy Roddy Piper. And this head sculpt is amazing. I am really liking this Rowdy Roddy Piper head sculpt. I always enjoyed Roddy's work. Fantastic promo. Always passionate about what he was doing. He's got the same Roddy torso that we've seen. This head sculpt is brand new. It's got like a true effects technology put on it and it looks just like him. This is definitely the best Roddy Roddy Piper head sculpt we've ever seen. I think it would have been cool maybe if they came with interchangeable heads that were beat up or something from the fight or like sweaty head sculpts or something would have been really cool but I like this head sculpt. I like the torso choice. You guys can see how the arms look with these boxing gloves. He has the red line instead of a black line like Mr. T. His trunks are immaculate. I love the hot rod going down the sides in white. You got the nice WWE logo. I love this plaid pattern. Again, looking good. Piper on the butt in the white and black. Uh, you got the same skin tone going down. Another skin tone not completely covering right there. So these legs are molded in green, which is really unique. I guess if you wanted to acetone that upper thigh, you'd have green thighs. But he has the white and black socks with the stripes. You got the black and white boots. And these are similar to boots that Roddy Piper would wear anyway. I know that he did wear the, the red and white ones that were tall, but I'm pretty sure he wore these at a time in his career as well. He is on 
pinless joints as well, and you guys can see the knee damage again. So the knee damage is consistent with pinless joints, which is unfortunate, but dude, this two-pack's really sick, man. These figures are really unique. He is on ball joints again, so both guys are on ball joints. I don't think you're gonna have to worry about, you know, looseness or anything, but if you guys wanted to customize them a little bit or anything, you can do that. Let's go ahead and get into some articulation standpoint. Now, his head's basic articulation. Cr ab crunch is the same. The arms are pretty much the same. His split is really good because he's on the ball joints. They do have upper thigh cut, which is really nice. Now, this is what I'm talking about. If you guys see, like, it only goes to 90, and the only way to get, like, that upper portion of the knee to articulate a lot is, like, I don't know. It just doesn't do it the same as if it... Okay, so it's doing a little bit there. I don't know. It's like the knees get stiff or something when you're flexing those pinless joints. It's like the upper knee articulation gets stuck a little bit. So that's something that actually has to break free. When I popped him out of the packaging and I was trying to pose his knee around just to see, you know, because you guys know I take him out of the packaging and pose him around a second, they were getting stiff and like I had to like break it free. So hopefully you guys don't have any troubles with that. But the figures stand good. They don't try to fall over, which is really nice to see. But let's get into some Mr. T and Rowdy Roddy Piper figure comparisons. So for the Mr. T Elite Figure Comparison, guys, you will see here that we have the new two-pack WrestleMania 2 and then the SDCC exclusive, and I'm really digging this. I think you could even mix and match if you wanted to put the chains over here, maybe put the gauntlets and the gold over here. You could put maybe the camo shirt over there. You could put the weight belt. You could do a lot of interchangeability between these two if you wanted to, but they both look good. I'm really happy to have Mr. T's. It's kind of crazy that I have, I have three loose Elite Mr. T's, and I have more Elite Mr. T's than I have Roddy Piper's, I'm pretty sure which is a crazy stat. One of the unique uh, little information tags for the MDT collection, but there is Mr. T. And then if we wanted to get into Roddy Piper, I do have the Legends Roddy Piper. I think this is the Legends Roddy Piper. And you guys can see the difference between the True Effects head sculpt and then a regular, you know, the old Mattel cartoony head sculpts that we used to get back in the day. Still a nice head sculpt, just not as good as this, obviously. Better paint apps, better sculpt overall. And you guys can see the difference here. There's the boot comparison, socks comparison, everything like that. Really cool. I think this attack tire would look better maybe if the green was blue but it's still really clean. I like the plaid and everything going on with it but there is your difference between the Roddy Roddy Piper and the Mr. T figures. And now that we have taken a look at all of these guys I want to run through and put these boxing gloves on a few different figures to show you guys exactly what they look like on different guys. So first up guys here is Seth Rollins with the boxing gloves on there. Just took out the interchangeable hands right there and then plopped in the boxing gloves and that looks pretty unique. Need to make a whole boxing series. If these boxing gloves were so hard to come across I know they're definitely going to be hard because this two-pack is only probably going to be available at ringside. Since Toys R Us is no longer a thing, I'm sure you could have gotten it at Toys R Us. Maybe maybe in Canada they'll get it, but I just want to see what these gloves look like. So we're probably only going to ever have like two pairs of them, but there are the boxing gloves on Seth. And then for our next boxing gloves comparison or try on, we got the Finn Balor Demon Ultimate Edition with the boxing gloves on. That looks pretty unique right there, so I figure some people will get some kicks out of that. So there is the Demon King Finn Balor with his boxing gloves on, and then we're going to do one more that I think is definitely one that we need to look at. And last but not least, we have the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, and actually, the wrist gauntlets won't even go on the figure. His forearms are so big that the wrist gauntlets that come with Mr. T and Roddy Piper, they won't even go on the John Brown thing. So I went ahead and left Brock Lesnar's on there and just put on the red boxing gloves, and it actually looks pretty damn sick, especially in these, like, UFC trunks and these boxing-style feet. I mean, this looks actually pretty badassery. If anybody boxed Brock Lesnar, Jesus Christ, man. Like, look at this. How sick is that? That's so, that's so badass. I'm gonna give him the one, two, knock you the hell out, Brad. So yeah, that actually makes the two pack worth it right there. Just putting these gloves on Brock Lesnar makes this pack worth it alone. So if you have the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar, this is an automatic buy. Using code MDTOYS at WrestlingFigures.com Ringside Collectibles. Go over there, use that promo code and pick up these boxing glove two packs. But anyways guys, I think that is gonna do it for this WWE Elite Two Pack. WrestleMania 2 Boxing, Roddy Roddy Piper and Mr. T set. Overall, really enjoy both figures. I think the accessories are nice. I love the, the interchangeable boxing gloves are fantastic. I'm having a ton of fun interchanging those guys, posing them around with my figures, especially the Brock Lesnar. Again, that looks so badass. I really had a fun, a ton of fun with that. I think Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar is also available on Ringside Collectibles right now. They had like a new in-stock order of them. So if you guys would like to pick that up, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Go over there, WrestlingFigures.com. Grab the Brock Lesnar as well as the two-pack because it's, it's a ton of fun, man. I'm not going to BS with you. If you like to pose your figures around, if you guys witness this event, if you guys watch this live, I mean, this 
this may be a two pack you want to pick up. I really enjoy all of the accessories and the figures posing them around is really fun. I also am a big fan of Mr. T, so that's also another reason why I think you should get it. Maybe you even want to grab it for the head sculpt. You could put this head sculpt on a lot of Mr. Or, or on a lot of Rowdy Roddy Piper figures. There's a Hall of Fame figure you could put it on. There's the Legends figure you could put it on. You could put it on the Entrance Greats figure, I think, from the from a while back. Just a really strong Rowdy Piper head sculpt. If you guys missed out on the SDCC exclusive Mr. T and really want it in your collection, there you go. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it. I highly recommend the two-pack. I don't think it's a must-grab by any means, but if you're a completionist, you enjoy either guy, you like the accessories that were featured here today, I say grab it. It's a ton of fun. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. Let's get into our random comment. Again, if you guys would like a shout-out, you gotta give me a comment down below and like the video. So for this comment, guys, I want to give a huge shout-out to Mr. Tacos. I thought this comment was hilarious because he's so accurate. He goes, you know he's pissed when he calls Brad Bradley with the, the smoke coming out of the nose emoji. That is hilarious. So I thought that was hilarious to Mr. Tacos. So huge shout-out to Mr. Tacos for that comment. Again, if you guys would like a shout-out, give me a random comment down below. Something that makes me laugh or, or just a good comment. Something clever. Sometimes I do random comments, so you know, you never ever know. But thank you guys so very much for the comment to Mr. Tacos. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.